In 2005, the tender was awarded to a South African firm, First Technologies, but was later cancelled following reports of corruption and influence peddling after petition by Contec Global that lost out. First Technologies later took government to court, seeking 46 billion shillings in compensation. But even before the matter is settled in court, a German firm has reportedly been awarded a contract to complete the project. Called Mulba High Technology International to develop a security information system uh, that would lead to the issuing of national identity cards. MP Otto claims that the contract was awarded in violation of procurement regulations. When it was not advertised, there was no competition as required by PPDA. Why did they go for single sourcing as opposed to competitive bidding? Government had earlier planned to spend 112 billion shillings on national IDs. However, Internal Affairs Minister Chirunda Chivei Dinda later told MPs that these plans had been halted due to lack of funds. A, a decision was taken to go slow on the matter of providing a national identity card and the funds could not be available. That was the latest situation. But things appear to have changed dramatically in less than a year. The emerging question is, where did government get the 220 billion shillings, double the previous figure of 112 billion? And why hasn't the tender advertised to allow competitive bidding? What is your biggest interest in that story? We are not issuing anything about, about that. That one is not in your domain and the difference like, cannot be about nothing else to, to comment. We have seen it. Mm. But we are not aware of the contract. Okay, that matter is being handled as a classified item by Minister of Internal Affairs. Eh? We have, at the moment, we mm. have no permission to discuss it in the public, but we have been consulted. But because it's a classified matter, it mm. had to come to us as a classified matter. It was discussed by our board. Classified expenditure usually involves matters of national security. Does the national ID fall in this category? On their website, the German firm Mulbe High Tech International confirms getting the tender for the Uganda ID contract. However, if it's true that the firm got the deal without competitive bidding, this contract could also be cancelled and government gets embroidered in another long legal battle with the company, leaving the taxpayer as the loser.